Why are these not the ultimate speakers? Well, it's simple. I am not an audiophile and I don't know a lot about good sound quality. I'm your average guy who loves to design and build stuff, so that was my approach for this project. If you know a lot when it comes to building speakers, then I would love to hear your suggestions on how this design could be improved. Let's come up with the ultimate DIY speakers together. I'll explain the design now briefly and over the next days I'm going to upload an in-depth tutorial on how to assemble them. So a while back I got curious about building some speakers and online I saw a few really popular 3D printable designs. So I scouted the internet for what people have uploaded. Personally I think that what I found can be put into two categories. We have appealing looking 3D printable designs that lack in sound performance and on the other side people seem to have published really nice sounding speakers that are mostly built from dense materials like wood. Since the second category mainly appears to be quite complex to make and I don't really need top notch sound performance, I continued to look at 3D printable designs. It became clear that there are major problems with those though. Because 3D printing filament is so lightweight, it takes ages to fully print a speaker and at the same time you need a huge amount of filament. And all of that for not even incredible sound performance. But the one upside they have is that 3D printing allows the design to be totally unique and stand out. What I did now was sit down and ideate how can I utilize these benefits but still mainly rely on dense material. I wanted them to be as easy to build as possible, so I stick to a rectangular plate shape. The most customizable shape there is, I assumed, is a cube, so that's what I ended up with. Just needed to design pieces that hold the wood in place, and because it looks fairly simple, I went a bit crazy when I designed the legs. And this is, in a nutshell, how the design was born. All of the 3D printable pieces are optimized for easy support, free printing, and as long as you're capable of cutting wood rectangles and solder a bit, you should be all set. I've uploaded the designs in two sizes, so it would be really great to get some feedback on what you guys think of the sizes I chose. I think that there is so much potential with this design, so feel free to play around with it, modify it. If I see that many people make use of the design, I will definitely work on a second version.